Bright Stanley by Matt Buckingham. Far below the waves, a little fish called Stanley lived with his shoal. They were the brightest sparklish fish in the whole of the deep dark sea. One morning, Stanley woke up rather late. Gilly, it's me, he called to his friends, but the reef seemed strangely quiet. Oh no, where have all the other fish gone? Far below the waves, a little fish called Stanley lived with his shoal. They were the brightest, sparkliest fish in the whole of the deep, dark sea. One morning, Stanley woke up rather late. Gilly, it's me, he called to his friends, but the reef seemed strangely quiet. Suddenly, Stanley remembered that today was the day when the shoal swam to cooler waters for the summer. Jumping jellyfish, he groaned. He hurried to the meeting point as fast as his fins would carry him, but there was no one there. As he looked around, he saw a bright light. Aha! They haven't gone far, he said, and he raced towards it. But it was only a lobster counting coins. Go away! Don't touch me, treasure! The lobster growled, snip snapping his claws. I'm just looking for my friends, said Stanley. Fish! The lobster grumbled. Those others were in such a hurry to find someone, they upset my coins. Others? cried Stanley. My friends! Well, go and join them then, said the lobster, pointing grumpily, and Stanley sped off. Ahead of him, Stanley saw a golden glow. He could just make out a bright, sparkly fish. One of his friends. Gooey, it's me! He called, swimming even faster. Clonk! Stanley crashed head first into something very hard. Jumping jellyfish! He cried. It wasn't one of his friends at all, but his own reflection in a shiny pearl. Stanley rubbed his bumped nose, feeling a little dazed. He didn't notice a dark shape coming up behind him. When he turned round, Stanley found himself staring straight into the mouth of a huge... Shark! Ah! Shrieked Stanley. Over boulders and under weeds, he dashed with the shark snapping at his tail. Suddenly, Stanley saw a small hole in a rock below. He dived down and wriggled inside, just before he was gobbled up. Deep inside the cave, Stanley shivered and shook. He felt very sad and very lonely. He was beginning to think he'd never see his friends again. Well, I can't stay here forever, he sighed at last and he poked his head out of the cave to check that the shark had gone. Jumping jellyfish, he squealed. The sea was a golden orange, sparkling and glittering. 
It was the most wonderful sight he had ever seen because there in front of him was... His show. Gary, it's me, he called. Stanley, his friend shouted. Where have you been? We've been looking for you everywhere. And Stanley told them his adventures as they all swam off in one bright, sparkly, happy show. <laughs>